Hi, this is an example of a process FMEA in a paint shop. They were painting on wooden toys, okay, wooden parts that would become toys. So this is the typical uh, way to analyze the sources of risks, right? The potential uh, failure modes. Um, and we went at it process step by process step. Uh, now, after that, it doesn't go like from 1 to 12 because we then ranked it by the total risk factor. I will explain how that works. So let's look at the number one worst source of risk here. Okay, when they spray the base paint, okay, is one of the process steps. They spray some, some paint, first, uh, first layer, and the methods, the method uh, is the source of the failure mode really they don't do it properly and what is the impact on that right potential failure effects well aspect problems poor paint marks uh, poor painting uh, some smear etc right um, severity this is bad because this is quite visible on the finished product then uh, when you look at the the, the code the, um, the the issues well it's uh, too much overall paint on some issues, missing paint on some issues, etc. Okay, and current controls typically what they would say is oh, we see it when we are doing uh, the inspection in assembly. Okay, um, and then we we um, we sort of pick some um, um, here levels of severity, right? Severity, how severe is the effect to the customer, uh, and quite important to try and have a um, um, relatively objective way of looking at it okay what does a nine mean here versus a five it's quite important okay so going back here uh, we have a drop down and then we say well this one is very high okay very high severity is very visible it's not good at all it's going to be defective okay then um, how often does this occur and then we actually look through production and we say well you know up to one percent so we pick that okay which is not good because when you add it up to all the other kinds of defects you're going to have a very high defect rate right so uh, roughly a little bit uh, south of one percent to one percent okay and that gives us a six and then the controls, you know, where are they going to catch it? Because they're not going to prevent it here. Okay, there's no prevention. At least, when would they detect it? Uh, and then they, they say during inspection and assembly. Well, that that is not very strong. Um, in, in, in inspectors do not catch everything. So we say this is uh, this is moderate uh, kind of detection um, uh, ability, right? So when you multiply 8 times 6 times 5 you get 240 which is relatively high even for relatively simple toy products okay and then it's the same idea when you go down the other one so here the packing so they're supposed to store it for less than 12 hours um, uh, but uh, they might not do that so um, you know it's it's high severity if the paint adheres to some other things such as for example packaging okay and uh, they say well labeling will have labeling to make sure it's in place blah 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 well but it was not implemented uh, so when is it going to happen it's going to happen often right uh, over 10 percent that's like a 10 out of 10 already in our scale uh, it is going to happen definitely and if you get if you, if you have at least 10% of the products with that problem, your whole batch is going to be rejected. It's going to have to be rejected. It's very high proportion. Um, and current controls, um, you know, they say they touch it and they have a look at it. Okay, yeah, right. Not too bad, but it's still a 3. 7 times 10 times 3 is 210, which is uh, kind of high, right? And then if I take another example, um, now another one that is uh, relatively low, um, again, okay, no technical sheet to mix the color, 
okay they don't do it in a in an organized way right so the effect obviously would be color mismatch and that's very bad that's very bad because you have several products maybe from different batches on the same shelves and then there would be different shades of red of blue and so on that's bad uh, that's an eight um, why because they don't use technical uh, mixing sheets how often is going to happen actually it's not going to happen very often because it's kind of easy for them to see if it's close or very far away from uh, from the desired color so it's only a one and then how are they going to check it and detect it again same idea they check it right away and then they only release it to production if it's pretty close to the color they want so here again it's a one that's why eight times one times one total score is very low it's an eight this uh, typically we don't keep going to the right uh, of the the fmea uh, columns we don't we don't take any actions for that typically so that's uh that's an overview of the fmea process uh, on a manufacturing process this is an example on paint